a Twitter user, HairDrive8 posted the evolution of the number of shells shot per day by Russia and Ukraine. At the beginning of the war, Russia shot over 60,000 shells per day. This went down to 57,000 in Q2 2022, 40,000 in Q3, and down and down to 12,000 shells per day in the last quarter. The estimate for Q4 is that they will only be able to use 7,000 shells per day because they have used their initial stocks of 20 million shells. And the production of new shells is only 1.5 million per year. The estimate for Ukraine is 9,000 for this quarter, so for the first time Russia could shoot less shells than Ukraine. Even if the estimates are wrong, the trend is there. Also the US are transferring Iranian weapons and ammunitions. And Russian soldiers complain they receive rotten ammo. I found this video among the currently most viewed videos, about Ukraine, on YouTube. I share my list of top 10 viewed videos in the description below and on my website, at thomasmore.org. I hope you will have a look at my website. It is free and without login. Here is a quick summary of the videos. Ukrainian army conducted a landing operation in Crimea. Approximately 16 soldiers from Ukrainian special forces landed on the Crimean Peninsula. Ukrainian intelligence officials posted a video confirming the operation. The operation encountered resistance from Russian forces, resulting in casualties on both sides. This kind of operation might be to push Russians to disperse their forces. A Ukrainian soldier named Alexander was captured by Russia. The toughest fights are in the Tokmik direction, especially north of the village of Novoprokopyuka. The Ukrainians control both the fortifications and the high ground north of the village. The Ukrainians are also moving towards Kopani, west of Robotyne. The Russians send reinforcements to counter the Ukrainian offensive. But, despite their efforts, the Ukrainians continue advancing. The Russians surrendered a bunker located under a railroad east of Andreevka. And the Ukrainian forces keep putting pressure on the Russian defenses along the railway. Regarding equipment, Ukraine introduced special thermal camouflage for soldiers. Ukraine Matters describes the usage of shells on both sides. Ukraine target more Russian infantry and vehicles with drone strikes. Russian troops receive batches of rotten munitions. Germany will transfer air defense systems to Ukraine, Iris-T and Gepard. But no long-range Taurus missile. There seems again that US long-range ATACMS missiles might be sent soon. The US transferred to Ukraine over 1 million rounds of seized Iranian ammunition, with much more confiscated equipment, including weapons, set to follow. The White House expresses confidence in ongoing support for Ukraine, and is coordinating the aid with the Allies. NATO allies are running out of ammunition for Ukraine, and the industry needs to increase production. The European Union commits to a multi-year funding package worth up to $52 billion for Ukraine. US pressures Ukraine to address corruption to receive economic aid. Maxim Katz has two videos in the top 10. In the first one, he interviews an 18-year-old from Mariupol, Ukraine. People in Mariupol resorted to picking up firewood, dismantling store counters, and even setting stores on fire during the war. There was a lack of basic necessities like gas, water, and heating. They eventually decided to leave Mariupol due to the escalating war. Russian ships blockaded the city, and the Russian artillery shelled it continuously. In a second top-viewed video, Maxim Katz reviews the situation of the Russian economy while the rubble is dropping to one cent of a US dollar. Regarding Russia, the Russian defense minister Shoigu claims there are no plans for further mobilization. Gazprom has announced its lowest full-year output levels since 1978. European efforts to reduce dependence on Russian natural gas have been successful. Sanctions have contributed to the decline in Russian natural gas exports. And Russia lacks the technical skills and expertise to maintain these projects. Europe is building interconnections to reduce dependence on Russian natural gas. This is just a glimpse. I recommend that you watch the videos for more information. The links are on my website at thomasmore.org. And in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. And bye for now.